To get the fastest possible internet speeds from your Xbox Series X, you're going to want to connect an Ethernet cable from your router to the Ethernet port on the back of your Xbox. The Xbox has a 1 gigabit port, which means it's capable of speeds of up to 1 gigabit. In reality, it's going to be slightly less, but you'll still be very close. In order to get the best speeds, you're going to have to have an Ethernet cable that is capable of that speed. So let's just take a quick look at the Ethernet cable categories and what they're capable of. So here you are, Cat5e is up to 1 gigabit per second, Cat6 is up to 10 gigabits per second at 30 meters, after that it's back down to 1 gigabit, Cat6a is up to 10 gigabits on the whole run, Cat7 is up to 40 gigabits per second up to 50 meters and after that it will be down to 10 gigabits per second and Cat8 is up to 40 gigabits per second. As you can see, every single one of these cables is capable of achieving that gigabit speed. So you might be wondering, is it worth me buying a higher category cable to try and achieve a higher speed? Well, in fact, no, it isn't because the overall speed is determined by the slowest point. So the one gigabit port on the Xbox means that it will never go over one gigabit. You can put a 10 gigabit cable on it and it will still only be at one gigabit. So my advice would be to stick with a Cat5e cable and save your money. However, there are some other considerations. If you're planning on installing your cables in a more permanent way, then it might be worth considering a higher category of cable to future-proof the installation. Although we're currently on one gigabit ports on our consoles at the moment, I wouldn't be surprised at all if the next generation have 10 gigabit ports. It is worth spending a bit of extra money on a quality cable. A lot of the cheap cables on eBay and Amazon are poorly made and are often constructed of copper clad aluminium. Aluminium does not conduct electricity as well as copper, so it's better to get a pure copper cable. Officially, Ethernet cable works to 100 meters. However, in reality, it is a little bit longer. But if you have a really long run, I would suggest using a higher category of cable. If you have a really, really long run, then you might want to consider fiber optic. My final point is about internet speeds. And again, this is about the bottleneck. If you have a one gigabit port on your Xbox, a one gigabit cable, but your internet speed is only say 300 megs, the overall connection is only going to be 300 megs. You're not going to increase it by having a better cable. Your internet speed is the limiting factor. But similarly, if you had say a 2.5 gig connection, and you have a one gig cable and a one gig port, the fastest speed is only going to be one gig because that is the slowest point on the network. So in summary, Cat5e should be your go-to cable for an Xbox, unless you're doing a more permanent solution or perhaps you wanna buy one that you're gonna use with your next console. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do think about subscribing and you can check us out on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.